हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बाउंड्री कंडीशन फॉर मैग्नेट फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एस वेक्टर लेट्स बिगेन टू कैलकुलेट बाउंड्री कंडीशन फॉर मैग्नेट फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एस वेक्टर बाय यूजिंग मैक्सुअल्स इक्वेशंस शो हुई मैक्सुअल्स इक्वेशन रिलेटेड टू मैग्नेट फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एस वेक्टर दैट इज द मैक्सुअल्स फोर्थ इक्वेशन कॉर्ल ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू करेंट डेंसिटी प्लस डिसप्लेसमेंट करेंट दैट वन इज द एक्सप्रेशन therefore we have to choose that is the interface with separate medium one from that of medium two a point on that of uh, medium one another point on that of uh, medium two magnetic field intensity let h1 magnetic field intensity here that point on that of medium 2 s2 how these two are related at the interface in other words we can say what be the boundary condition for magnetic field intensity in order to in order to calculate the call of magnetic field intensity So we have to choose a closed rectangular loop. To the top point, in the closed rectangular loop, the directions are chosen like this. It is named as P Q R S, and height of the top loop. let us now mathematically we have to calculate from maxwell's equations from maxwell's equation that is the fourth maxwell equation which relates magnetic field intensity that one is call of magnetic field intensity is equal to current density plus del d by del d taking the surface integral on both sides grad cross h surface integral is equal to del d del t that d s now that surface integral can be changed to that line integral by using stokes theorem stokes theorem that surface integral can be changed to closed line integral h dot dl now separating it into two integrals j dot ds plus del d del d dot ds now that magnetic field intensity under that of closed loop that closed line integral at pq on that line pq h1 qr that is s3 rs s2 in sp that is s3 these uh, two are the tangential components and that two 
आर द नॉर्मल कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी वेक्टर पी क्यू एच वन डेट डी एल प्लस एट क्यू आर दैट इज एच थ्री डेट डी एल प्लस आर एस एच टू डेट डी एल प्लस एस पी एच फोर डेट डी एल इज इक्वल टू जे डेट डी एस प्लस डेल डी डी एस नाउ वेन दैट हाइट ऑफ दैट ऑफ लूफ स्टेन्स टू जीरो देन दिस टू लाइन इंटीग्रल्स विल बी जीरो वेन एस टेन्स टू जीरो देन क्यू आर एस पी टेन्स टू जीरो एंड दैट वन सरफेस इंटीग्रल डिसप्लेसमेंट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड डेल डी डेल टी डी एस ऑल्सो टेन्स टू जीरो एज दैट क्वान्टिटी इज बाउंडेड again that term current density will be the current density component in the direction perpendicular to that of plane of the loop that is chosen as j over that of surface which one is perpendicular इंटू एट लाइन इंटीग्राल एल हियर जे एस परपेडिकुलर द कॉरेन डेन्सिटी कंपोनेंट कंपोनेंट परपेडिकुलर to the plane of that of loop plane of that of rectangular loop this we obtained when s tends to zero first the integrals q r s p q r and s p will be zero so the existing integrals over pq h1 dot dl plus h2 dot dl is equal to again this one as zero only exist j dot ds j dot ds that one is j s which is the perpendicular component इन टू एल लुक यार एच वन डी एल ऑफ दैट ऑफ पी क्यू पी क्यू एंड आर एस इक्वल बट इन ऑपोजिट डिरेक्शन दैट्स वाय दैट कंपोनेंट एच वन वेक्टर इज अ ट्रांसफर्स कंपोनेंट एच वन ट्रांसफर्स टू एल 
minus S2 transverse component into L the negative sign as PQ is in the opposite direction of SR JS perpendicular component into L S1 T 2T that is the transverse component of magnetic field intensity S2 L is equal to J S perpendicular into L L L on both sides cancelled out we obtain S1 T minus S 2 T is equal to J perpendicular component So, what uh, be the result we obtain from that of expression? Here, tangential component of magnetic field intensity is discontinuous at that of surface. the tangential component of magnetic field intensity is discontinuous at the interface, but uh, it changes by an amount which is equal to the component of surface current density which is perpendicular to the tangential component of that of magnetic field intensity, but it is changes by an amount what be that amount that amount equal to the component of surface current density which is perpendicular to the tangential component of H. The tangential component of magnetic field intensity is discontinuous at the interface, but it is changes by an amount which is equal to the component of surface current density that is perpendicular to the tangential component of H vector. So, here with the help of this video lecture we understand boundary condition for magnetic field intensity by using Maxwell's equations. From Maxwell's equations finally, we obtain that expression that expression clarifies the tangential component of a magnetic field intensity is discontinuous at the interface. So, what uh, be the discontinuity? that the discontinuity is equal to j vector which is perpendicular means the component of surface current density that is perpendicular to the tangential component of S. So, with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the situation. Thank you.